This is Corey with Classroom Tech Made Simple, and I'm going to show you real quick how to refine your web searches with Google. Now, this is something that can be done with an iPad, on a desktop, laptop, it doesn't matter, as long as you're on Google. So, what I'm talking about with refining web searches is to use certain symbols and keys to make your web searches a little bit more relevant and a little bit more precise. So, if you just go to Google on any web browser and just type in refine web searches and it's the one that says support.google now I know some teachers and some individuals like to actually make their own little chart about this but this is something that you can do on your own um, but I just like to keep go to Google and then I can just search this real quick to make sure I'm looking for something specific this is really gonna help students when it comes to improving their research skills so it says you can use symbols in your words to make your search results more precise. Make sure that you don't put spaces between a symbol or word. That's key. So if you want to do something with social media, just put the at symbol in front. If you want to search for a price, obviously use the dollar. It gives you these examples, hashtags. You can search for those. Um, if you want to exclude words from your search, you put a little dash or minus. To find exact match, this is pretty important here. I know students use this one a lot, is using quotes. Um, Wild cards are unknown words, not used as frequently. If you want to search within a range of numbers, if you want to combine searches, this is a good one. I really like using this and showing students how to use this. So just put capital O-R so that you can combine those searches. It's pretty cool. If you want to search a specific site, another good one. If you want to search, you just put site colon and then the website. You can see that right here. It's a great example. If you want to search related sites, wow, this is really cool too. So if you want to find a site that is related to maybe, uh, for example, time.com, you just put related colon. Um, if you want to get details about a site, you just put info. Help students find whether or not it is a credible site. That's really, really important. And then the cached version of the site, you really don't need to use that as much. So this is how you refine your web searches. It's something that you probably weren't aware of, but I'm hoping that you'll start utilizing it and definitely start teaching your students about it so that we can teach them better research skills using Google so they're not just going to Google, typing in what they want, and clicking on images and getting some false answers for what we're trying to teach them. All right, feel free to contact me with any questions at Corey at Classroom Tech Made Simple. Leave a comment, leave a review, whatever you feel necessary. I appreciate you watching this video, and we'll see you next time.